Hello Explorer, thanks for joining us again and welcome back to our channel. If you're joining us for the first time here at Explorer, we go beyond borders to bring you inspiring content and also some very educating information. Hopefully you found some time to have checked our previous videos, if you haven't done so, we would encourage you to do so. Today we shall be looking at the 7 wonders in the African continent. Though it's so difficult to put this particular piece together, as Africa is an amazing continent with wonderful uh, natural wonders. Of course, there does exist the seven wonders of the world, which we did in one of our episodes. We will encourage you to check that onto our channel. But today, our focus is to look at the seven wonders in Africa. In this episode, we'll be able to explain to you why this particular selection uh, topped the list and as a result, uh, based on our assessment and research, we came together and looking into the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Putting this particular piece together, we looked at to the votings that took place and the selection process which was rigorous in coming to this total assessment. A explorer today look into those particular areas, why these particular selections made the top list. So without any more delay, we should just go straight into it. Here are the seven wonders in the African continent. Number one, the Okavanga Delta, which is in Botswana. The Okavanga Delta is a huge swampy island, uh, inland, so to say, delta in the heart of the Kalahari Desert in northern Botswana. At around 15,000 square kilometers, the delta is the largest wetland wilderness in the world and a place where African wildlife is untrammelly by human interference and the safari experience is truly second to none. In reviewing this folder, the whole delta area is very flat, um, looking at uh, less than just uh, 2 meters high in total variations if you want to go deep into that, which leads to the delta to float each year, turning this, this sprawling grassy plain into a large animal habitat, uh, into a maze, amazement, so to say, the maze of different uh, channels of animals, streams of rivers, lagoons and also islands, all timing with wildlife. Uh, at its the widest point, the delta spread to uh, wide to just over 170 kilometers and from July and September, over 200,000 migrations uh, from surrounding deserts to drink into this gigantic water hole, uh, one of the only sources of water during this particular period. In this case, in its amazing nature, the Okavanga uh, serve as our first most wonders in the African continent. Number two, the Serengeti migration. For those of you who don't know, looking at Serengeti, we're talking about here in Tanzania and also in Kenya. The great migration through Tanzania and Kenya each year is the largest overland wildlife migration in the world. Huge herds totaling up to just over 2 million uh, things like wild beasts, zebras, and also gazelle move in with just over 800 km circuits of clockwise due to the Serengeti and the Maasai Mara ecosystem in search of the best pasture and access to water. Those grazers, so to say, are floors or followed by lions and other predators in their thousands and waited for patiently by the Nile crocodile in the Mara and the Grumentian rivers as the herds flows their inner compass and each or other of them uh, in their nerves and in circulation being lucky enough to cross that particular part. If you are new to a explorer, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. The third wonder in Africa is the Ngorongoro Crater. For those of you who don't know, the Ngorongoro Crater is the heart of uh, the Ngorongoro Conservation Area in the northern Tanzania. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The crater is a huge inactive volcano uh, caldera. It is formed an estimated 3 million years ago when a mega volcano erupted and collapsed in on, its, on itself. The Ngorongoro Crater is now a mix of grassland and forest covering just over 265 km square and home to some of the best wildlife viewing in the African continent. There is a good range of accommodation options around this particular area, offering views across the crater floor and also that would amaze you and around the crater dreams, making an excellent base for which uh, it is a good area for uh, the volcano floor for you to take a look and see this amazing natural wonder in Africa. 
after referred to as Africa's Gardens of Aden, some will put it in that term, then Gorongoro is home to just an estimated over 32,000 animals. How amazing. The third on the food on our list here is Mount Kilimanjaro. This, for those of you who don't know Mount Kilimanjaro, the Mount Kilimanjaro is a dormant volcano, the highest mountain in Africa, and is the tallest freestanding mountain in the world, measuring just over 5,000 uh, meters above sea level. Mount Kilimanjaro is a very popular trekking destination with a number of official trekking routes leading to peaks of the mountain. Because this particular uh, ascent and descent are relatively easy and requires no technical climbing skills, Kilimanjaro sees tens of thousands of peak attempts each year. The mountain actually has seven peaks and it's formed of three distinct volcano comes things like the, the Mawezi, uh, the Shira and also the Kimbo. In this episode, Mount Kilimanjaro tops amongst our seventh wonders in the African continent. If you are just new to a Explorer, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. The next wonder in the African continent is the Nile River. When you look at uh, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, uh, Burundi, Democratic Republic of the Congo, Eritrea, Ethiopia, South Sudan, Sudan itself, Tanzania and Uganda are just over 6,000 kilometers. The Nile is the longest river in the world though contested in a way. Of course, flowing northwards through 11 African countries, just we just mentioned a moment ago, to empty into the Mediterranean Sea via Egypt, Nile Delta. The river gave birth to the ancient Egyptian civilization, with virtually all the major cultural and historical sites of Egypt situated on the banks of the Nile, of the Nile River. Even today, we're talking, uh, in Egypt and Sudan, the Nile is the primary water source uh, for entire population. Uh, usually, the river has two different sources. We're talking about the White Nile uh, coming from East Africa's Great Lakes and also the Blue Nile beginning in Ethiopia's Lake Tana. There are two tributaries made just uh, outside the Sudanese capital. We're talking about Khartounia. How amazing this particular wonders in the world. In this episode, the next wonder we are looking at is the Red Sea Reef. The coast of Egypt, we're looking at that. The Red Sea is a long, tiny inlet of Indian Ocean located between the Middle East and Africa. The surface area is just over 439,000 km square, uh, looking at just over 2,000 km long. And this river has over 350 km wide and its uh, widest point. The extensive network of uh, shallow shelves of the, Red, of the Red Sea is famed for its variety of coral and marine life, with over 1,000 species of invertebrates and also 200 hard and soft uh, coral species, many of which are endemic to the Red Sea. Over 44 species of sharks visit the reef of uh, the sea to feed and breed. The variety of sea life plus superb facility and makes the Red Sea popular location for scuba diving. In this episode, the Red Sea uh, tops our, the Red Sea Reef, so to say, top one of our seven wonders in African continent. The last but not the least is the Sahara Desert. If you are new to a Explorer, we will encourage you to smash the subscribe button and also share our videos to your different network. The Sahara Desert it were, is the world's largest warm desert and the third largest desert in the world after the Antarctic and also the Arctic Desert. At just over 9 million kilometers square, the Sahara Desert is roughly the size of you say, the United States of America which epics uh, dunes that reach up to just over 180 meters tall. The desert stretches across 11 uh, different countries and, uh, and only parts of the region that aren't part of the Sahara Desert are coast of the Mediterranean Sea, the Nile Valley in Egypt, the Sudan and the Moroccan Atlas Mountains of the Maghreb. Whilst conditions in the Sahara Desert are harsh, uh, it's still home to a varied selection of adapted wildlife in, that includes fox, gazelle, cheetah, wild ducks, ostrich, 
crocodiles you also have camels as well as several nomadic tribes that basically uh, form this part uh, into uh, their own uh, home these particular countries that the Nile flows through include Chad, uh, Egypt, Libya, Algeria, Mali, Mauritania, Morocco, Niger, Sudan, Tunisia, Western Sahara. Hopefully, we've been able to inform you as to regards to um, there's uh, seven wonders that we've pieced together in the African continent. However, it should be noted that um, uh, the Victoria uh, Falls in Zimbabwe and in the Zambia border is one of the seven natural wonders uh, of the world uh, already. And um, of course, it's an interesting uh, natural wonder, so to say, uh, within the African continent. But in this episode, we've decided to piece together these amazing uh, seven wonders within the African continent. Hopefully, we've been able to inform you as to regards to the seven wonders in the African continent. If you feel this information has been helpful and you've been inspired, we will encourage you to share our videos and subscribe to our channel. For now, thanks very much. We're looking forward to meeting you in our next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.